do you believe in God as our Savior? When there is a rally, are you a leftist or a rightist? Do you think that man is inherently good or bad? These questions are good examples of different types of belief systems. Hello, senior high learners. This is Introduction of World Religions and Belief Systems. Today marks the pilot episode of understanding and appreciation of one's faith. I'm sure that you are all ready to learn. So, senior high learners, get a move on and prepare your pulpen and pen together with your learning module. My name is Sir Jester and this is World Religions and Belief Systems. The Philippines has the third largest Catholic population in the world. This only shows that Filipinos know very well where their faith lies. However, do we really know some of the notions behind a vivid understanding of religion? This subject will help you understand the historical context of the different religions, appreciate differences and similarities, and promote mutual understanding among believers of different faiths. Today we are to understand the nature of religion. Here are the objectives. As we go along with the lessons, you are expected to. You are to define belief system, religion, and spirituality. Second, you are to differentiate concepts, elements, and characteristics of the belief system, religion, and spirituality. Lastly, you are to make an affirmation of your faith or beliefs in the religion where you belong. Religion may be defined as an organized system of beliefs, ceremonies, and rules used to worship a god or a group of gods. The Latin word religio refers to something done with over-anxious or scrupulous attention to detail. This term may have probably been derived from the Latin verb religare, which means to tie together, to bind fast. In its original sense, the word refers to expression of proper pity, that is, binding to God. Quite later, religion was used to designate formal belief systems. The term was eventually applied to what we now call as religion because of the manner in which people performed rituals during those days. Most ancient civilizations worship many different gods, and the Romans were no different. Each of the gods has their own purpose and value. Here are some of the popular Roman gods. Jupiter, the main Roman god. Juno, wife of Jupiter and the goddess of women and fertility. Mars, god of war. Venus, goddess of love and beauty. Minerva, goddess of wisdom, arts and crafts, learning and industry. Neptune, god of the sea. Ceres, goddess of harvest. Vulcan, god of the underworld. Belief in God or gods is found in almost all religions. So, senior high learners, listen up. As we go along, I want you to list down things that you believe in by completing the following statements. What have you observed in your own belief system? I believe in or that. Great! Now, I want you to take a look on this picture and analyze. Number one, what can you see in this picture? Number two, what does the picture tell us? Number three, how can you relate the picture in our daily lives? 
The picture is a clear depiction of an act of prayer. Majority of world religions follow a set of prayers in the form of chants, mantras, or a creed. Whether you pray or not, you may have witnessed the influential roles being played by religions all over the world. The following are elements of belief system or worldview. Number one, time, the age of people, the length of the day, the age of the country. Number two, values. It is different from person to person. People from different religions, groups, countries, they all value different things. Number three, society. It is the way people and government interact with each other and among themselves. The government is the ruling force over a society and underneath them are different classes of people. Number four, beliefs. Curtains to science and religion and anything you believe in. Number five, knowledge. The more education a person has, the different view on the world they will have. Number six, economy. The way we view the world has side dependency in the amount of money you and your country has. Number seven, geography. It is a combination of economy, society, time, and beliefs. Furthermore, the following are some kinds of belief systems or worldviews in religion. Number one, theism. The belief in the existence of one or more divinities or deities which exist within the universe and yet transcend it. These gods also in some way interact with the universe unlike deism and are often considered to be omniscient, omnipotent, and omnipresent. Number two, monotheism, the view that only one god exists. Number three, polytheism, the belief in or worship of multiple gods. Number four, pantheism, the belief that God is equivalent to nature or the physical universe or that everything is of an all-encompassing, immanent, abstract God. Number five, animism, the belief that souls inhabit all or most objects, whether they be animals, vegetables, or minerals. Number six, atheism or non-theism, the belief that gods do not exist or a complete rejection of theism in any form. Number seven, agnosticism, the belief that the nature and existence of God is unknown and cannot ever be known or proven. So, let's recap the kinds of belief systems or worldviews in religion. Number one, theism. Number two, monotheism. Three, polytheism. Four, pantheism. Five, animism. Six, atheism. And seven, agnosticism. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. I take you to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I take you to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Hey, hey, hey! I guess you're all familiar with this scene, uh-huh, right? It is a wedding ceremony. I am sure that is everyone's dream, settling down with his or her most loved person in the world. The universe, rather. Marriage is a lasting commitment of a man and a woman to a lifelong partnership, established for the good of each other and procreation of their children. Ritual or ceremony, just like the wedding scene a while ago, is one of the various elements of religion. Let's have it one by one. Number one, belief system or worldview. 
many beliefs that fit together in a system to make sense of the universe and our place in it. Number two, community. The belief system is shared and its ideals are practiced by a group. Number three, central stories or myths. Stories that help explain the beliefs of a group. These are told over and over again and sometimes performed by members of the group. They may or may not be factual. Number four, rituals. Beliefs are explained, taught, and made real through ceremonies. Number five, ethics. Rules about how to behave. These rules are often thought to have come from a deity or supernatural place, but they might also be seen as guidelines created by the group over time. Number six, characteristic emotional experiences. Most religions share emotions such as awe, mystery, guilt, devotion, conversion, inner peace, etc. Number seven, material expression. Religions use things to perform rituals or to express or represent beliefs such as statues, paintings, music, flowers, incense, clothes, architecture, and specific sacred locations. Number eight, sacredness. Religions see some things as sacred and some not sacred or profane. Some objects, actions, people, and places may share in the sacredness or express it. So, let's recap the various elements of religion. First, many beliefs that fit in together in a system to make sense of the universe and our place in it belief system or worldviews. Second, the belief system is shared and its ideals are practiced by a group, community. Third, stories that help explain the beliefs of a group. These are told over and over again and sometimes performed by members of the group. They may or may not be factual central stories or myths. Fourth, beliefs are explained, taught, and made real through ceremonies, rituals. Fifth, rules about how to behave. These rules are often taught to have come from a deity or supernatural place, but they might also be seen as guidelines created by the group over time, ethics. Sixth, most religions share emotions such as awe, mystery, guilt, joy, devotion, conversion, inner peace, etc. Character, emotional experiences. Seventh, religions use things to perform rituals or to express or represent beliefs such as statues, paintings, music, flowers, incense, clothes, architecture, and specific sacred locations, material expression. And eight, religions see some things as sacred and some not sacred. Some objects, actions, people, and places may share in the sacredness or express it. Sacredness. Very good, dear learners. Another concept that needs to be focused on is spirituality. It is one's integrative view of life. It involves a quest for the meaning and ultimate value of life, as opposed to an instrumentalist or materialistic attitude to life. Well, that man experienced a lot of pains in life. His girlfriend left him, engaged in illegal drugs, became unemployed. Hmm. But still, 
he was able to overcome all these challenges. By that, he had become a better individual, a better man. I salute his fighting spirit. The word spirit came from the Latin terms spiritus, which is translated as breath, courage, vigor, or soul, and spirare, or to breathe. There are four characteristics of spirituality. Number one, a sense of wholeness and harmony within oneself. Number two, a sense of wholeness and harmony with others. Number three, a sense of wholeness and harmony with God or supreme power. Number four, a sense of wholeness and harmony with the ecosystem. There are five attributes or elements of spirituality. Number one, meaning, the ontological significance of life, making sense of life situations, deriving purpose in existence. Number two, values, beliefs and standards that are cherished, having to do with the truth, beauty, worth of a thought, object or behavior, often discussed as ultimate values. Number three, transcendence, experience and appreciation of a dimension beyond the self, expanding self-boundaries. Number four, connecting, relationship with self, others, God, high power, and the environment. Number five, becoming, an unfolding of life that demands reflection and experience, includes a sense of who one is and how one knows among other things. Well, you are now loaded with knowledge and information. Oh, this is just our first episode. Remember, more to go. But wait, we are not yet done. For our summation, let's have a drill. I am sure that you are familiar with this. Factor Bluff, World Religions and Belief Systems Edition. Are you ready for the drill? I can hear you, senior high learners. All right. Now you are all ready. Make sure that your ball pen and your module is with you or just a piece of paper will do. Here is the directions. Examine the following statements. In your paper, write fact if the statement is correct and write bluff if otherwise. Number one. Economy is a particular way of ordering the realities of one's world. Is it a fact or bluff? Go! The answer is bluff. Belief system is a particular way of ordering the realities of one's world. Number two, spirituality is not instrumentalist or materialistic attitude to life. Is it a fact or bluff? Go! The correct answer is fact. Number three, pantheism is a belief that God is equivalent to nature. Is it a fact or bluff? Go! The correct answer is fact. Number four, Atheism is a belief that gods do exist. Is it a fact or bluff? Go! The answer is bluff. The belief that gods do not exist is called atheism. Number five, ethics pertains to rules on how to behave. Is it a fact or bluff? Go! The answer is fact. In your paper, as your homework, give the learning that you have gained for the following concepts. Number one, tell something about belief system. Number two, tell something about religion. Number three, tell something about spirituality. Good job, senior high learners. I hope this lesson made you understand the nature of religion. That's all for today. In the next episode, 
we will learn the origin of world religions. Always remember this, you cannot believe in a God until you believe in yourself. My name is Sir Jester. See you next time. This is World Religions and Belief Systems, only here on Death and TV.